Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Humbo here. And today, if you're clicking on this video, you are probably looking for the best ways to reduce your input delay and lag. I was recently featured in the Pro Guide's top 10 most underrated editors list, and this has left a lot of people asking what sort of programs I use outside of Fortnite to lower my uh, input delay, and also what type of settings I use within Fortnite, what types of tips and tricks I use to get the lowest input delay possible for editing. So today, I decided to make this video to go over all of that stuff with you guys. I'll be going over the programs I use, the best settings within those programs. I will also be going over my best Fortnite settings, the little tips and tricks that will really help you guys. I promise this video will make a difference. Just please remember to like and subscribe and let's get right into it. So first things first guys, we're going to the actual Fortnite settings. Uh, going over window mode, of course, you want to have that in full screen. Uh, with resolution, you guys can scale down your resolution to something like 1650 by 1080. If you're having problems with input delay, that could help. I personally play in 1798 by 1080, which I really like. Um, so if you guys are on PC here, um, you can see you have 144 frames. You obviously can make an unlimited frame cap. I would actually recommend capping your frames if your PC isn't the best. Um, even if you have a really good PC and you can hold 240 FPS, I would recommend capping. It's something that you can consistently hold because this is going to prevent um, frame tear uh, it towards the upper ends, like when your PC is pushing its limits. So I always cap at 144 FPS personally. That'll all be according to how good your PC is, obviously. Getting into 3D resolution, you can play with this a bit depending on how good your computer is once again for performance. You could probably turn your 3D resolution down to about 80 and your eyes will take some adjusting to it, but it'll still be fine for you. And that can help with input delay. Um, obviously, you want to have all of these on low. You want to have your view distance on near. Um, getting down into advanced graphics, you want to have VSync off, motion blur off. You can have show FPS on. I like to know what my FPS is at. For DirectX, you want to play with this. I play on DirectX 11. I think most people do, but you, some people will have success with DirectX 12. Uh, you want to allow multi-threaded rendering. You want to turn off, use GPU crash debugging. Latency markers are not necessary. These are new settings right here, by the way, and latency flash is not necessary. But if you guys have an updated NVIDIA graphics card, which you can check um, this, like obviously in your PC, you probably know this, but you want to always make sure you have a NVIDIA Reflex low latency on or on plus boost, which is what I'm currently using. This is a brand new setting with NVIDIA. Um, they're teamed up with Fortnite and they came out with this and it's going to be helping a lot with your input delay. So that's it for the Fortnite settings. Okay guys, so now getting into the external programs that I use to reduce input delay and lag in Fortnite. I'm going to be going over timer resolution and exit lag today. I'll have both of these programs linked in the description below. Uh, right now, I'm gonna go over timer resolution first, which is the simplest program, and then I will get into exit lag right after. Um, timer resolution, all you guys are gonna have to do is just download that, the link will be there once again. And once you have it onto your PC, all you're going to do is open it up. It'll, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but you wanna say yes, it wouldn't ask you to run as an administrator. And this will pop up on your screen. You guys have probably seen this before, but it actually does work really well. Uh, all you're gonna do is click maximum. You should see 500 on current resolution here for milliseconds. And then you are going to wanna minimize it and make sure it's down here in your taskbar, okay? You wanna make sure time resolution is always open as you're loading up Fortnite to play. And that's about all. Time resolution is just gonna help your refresh rate and that's about it. It's a pretty simple program. Uh, exit lag, we'll get into right now. Alright guys, so now getting into exit lag, once you've downloaded the program, once again the link will be in description, you are going to see the FPS booster section that I'm currently on after you've selected Fortnite game and made an account. And you guys are just going to copy down the exact same settings that I have here for FPS boost and input delay reduction. These are the best settings for exit lag, and exit lag is a three day free trial you guys will get as you download it from the website. And then there after that, if you do decide that it works for you, it will be $6 every single month. Um, I have not paid to say this at all. I do promote this program because I do believe in it. And yeah, guys, that's about it. I have a more comprehensive overview of exit lag and all the things it does to reroute your server for the best ping. Um, if you guys want to check out that video, the link will be in the description below, but that about covers the program exit lag. Now guys, just to close this video out, I wanted to go over a couple general use tips. I would just say, make sure you guys have an ethernet cable that will really help with your latency. Make sure that your creative world do not have a lot of stuff in them, just the bare minimum of what you need for memory use. Those two things right there will also help tremendously. I hope this video is pretty informative. It's a quick video. We're about to be monetized on YouTube, so a like, a comment, a sub really means the world. I hope you guys got something out of this video. I hope you enjoyed it today. It's been Humbo. It's been good. Have a great day, man.